Hi there, it's me, Bubba Chuck 14, and we're here. It's June 1st, and it's time for the NBA Finals. But before we discuss that, I got a review for you, and it's the Jordan Retro 13 backpack. So as you can see, it's in the Black Cat colorway. So it's in the same colorway as this one. So the Jordan Retro 13 Black Cat released this year and this one came with it and my wife surprised me with a gift last week. So here it is. Here's the full bag. So it's got the Jordan logo here and here as well as neon Jordan logos on the back. This one looks like the logos that you can find on the bottom of the shoe and as well as the herringbone traction pod they put the same thing on the bottom of the backpack which is really cool and they have the same dimple design as the side panels that you can see on the Air Jordan 13s so it's got padded shoulder straps so for comfortable carrying and it's got this uh, chest straps so when you clip it together when you're carrying it it distributes and takes up the weight from most of your shoulders and then this one's 20 inch high 11 and half wide and 7 inches deep and it's made with uh, polyurethane, polyurethane shell and polyester backing so if you look inside this one's made of polyester and then it's got a lot of uh, inside packets so you can organize your stuff and it's got a laptop sleeve so if you want to bring your laptop you can put it inside the bag And it fits 15 inch laptop I think inside and the cool thing about this is it also has like if you see on the tags it has a wet and dry shoe pocket what that means is here on the bottom there's a bottom packet where you can store your shoes if you're going balling or going on a trip you can store shoes or whatever small items you want so here's the backpack and this is how it looks like on your back so if you're looking sideways and on the front so if you're carrying the backpack the Jordan logo is on your shoulder which is really cool and as I've said you can clip on the chest straps and takes the weight away from your shoulders it's really nice the padding on the shoulders are really nice makes the backpack easy to carry so that's how it looks like on your back so when you're going out you can wear your Jordan 13 black hats and wear the backpack and it's really cool And now let's go to the main event, the NBA Finals 2017. But before I go into the NBA Finals and who I'm going to pick to win 2017 NBA Champion, I just want to remind you that you can still go to riptopilot.com, buy anything you want and get 10% off by using my code bubbachuck 14 rip that's bubbachuck 14 rip to get 10% off your purchase at riptopile.com and in addition to that I got a bunch of uh, digital copies that I'm giving away for anyone who subscribes to my channel so if you subscribe I will randomly pick out of the box which uh, digital code you win so I've got 
digital codes for Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, Creed, Deadpool, X-Men Apocalypse, Brothers Grimsby, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, The Shallows, Don't Breathe, Lights Out, Logan, Split, and Southpaw. So if you want any of those digital copies, subscribe now and you can win whichever digital copy that you get. And also remember the 10% discount off by using BubbaChuck14Rip at RipToPyro.com. So now let's go into it, the NBA Finals. So if you've noticed uh, in my set, like I'm a, obviously a Jordan fan, so I'm a Chicago Bull fan and a Celtics fan as you can see. And in the West, I root for the San Antonio Spurs, so it, I'm not really happy that none of my teams got into the NBA Finals, but let's get into the trilogy that is the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Golden State Warriors. So this is the third time they're meeting and the defending champions are the Cleveland Cavaliers. The game starts today, June 1st. Both these teams split their regular season matches. Uh, Cleveland won in Cleveland and the same thing with the Warriors, they won in their home court. So in the playoffs, the Warriors, they have been unstoppable, so it's obvious because they got an all-star lineup. They swept the Blazers, the Jazz, and the Spurs because Kawhi Leonard got injured and Tony Parker wasn't playing. And the Cavaliers as well, they swept the Pacers, the Raptors, and they almost swept my Boston Celtics, but the Celtics pulled out one. So the Cavaliers didn't sweep the Eastern Conference. So let's compare the teams. Uh, I got the stats from basketballreference.com. So the Warriors points per game, they average 115.9 points per game, which leads the NBA. And compared to the Cavaliers, they are number four in the NBA with 110.3 points per game. And with regards to the field goal percentage, the Warriors lead the NBA with 49.5% field goal percentage shooting as compared to the Cavaliers who shoot 47% from the field which ranks number 5 in the NBA. While on defense, the Golden State Warriors hold down their opponents to 104.3 points per game, which is uh, number 11 in the NBA. While the Cavs' defense hold their opponents down to 107.2 points per game, which is 20th in the NBA. And they hold down their opponents for the Warriors. They hold their opponents' field goal percentages down to 43.5, which is, again, the first in the NBA. So it's really a juggernaut for the Warriors. They lead the NBA in field goal percent, uh, yeah, field goal percentage and holding down the opposing team's field goal percentage to 43.5. Meanwhile, on the Cavaliers side, their opponents are held down to 107.2 points per game, which is only the 20th in the NBA. And then they hold down the field goal percentage of their opponents to 45.8%, uh, which is 16th in the NBA. So after the team stats, let's discuss the key players for each team. Starting with the superstars for the number one seed in the West, and they are highly favored to win it all, the Golden State Warriors. And to start with the... Uh, man of the Golden State Warriors, even if Durant went to them, it's still Stephen Curry's team. So in the regular season, Steph Curry has averaged 25.3 points per game, 4.5 rebounds per game, and 6.6 .6 assists per game while shooting 46.8 field goal percentage. And now in the playoffs, he's raised his game. 
He's got 28.6 points per game while averaging 5.5 uh, rebounds per game and 5.6 assists per game. So his rebounds and points increased and his field goal percentage also increased to 50.2% field goal percentage. So Steph Curry has really stepped it up in the playoffs. Meanwhile, Kevin Durant averaged 25.1 points per game while shooting 53.7 field goal percentage in the regular season. And he also has 8.3 rebounds per game and 4.8 assists per game. In the playoffs, Durant has now He's been steady, he still has a 25.2 points per game, but his rebounds uh, decreased to 7.8 rebounds per game and his assists also decreased to 3.7 assists per game, but he's now shooting at 55.6 field goal percentage. So as you can see, like the defense is unable to defend the two of them. Steph Curry and Kevin Durant because they've been shooting 50% or higher. And the uh, last guy in their uh, big three, Clay Thompson, has been scoring 22.3 points per game on 46.8 field goal percentage in the regular season. And he averages 3.7 rebounds and 2.1 assists per game. And that's in the regular season. While in the playoffs, Clay Thompson has averaged and he's dropped to 14.4 points per game and his shooting percentage has also dropped very significantly, 38.3%. So in the finals, I think uh, Clay Thompson is going to raise his game up. He's going to elevate. Uh, in the playoffs, Clay Thompson's also averaging 3.5 rebounds, it's also lower, and 2.0 assists per game, which is consistent as his regular season. And the Warriors' key players of the bench are Draymond Green, Sean Livingston, and David West, and Zaza Patrulia, the guy who took out Kawhi Leonard. So it's a pretty strong team. That's why the Cleveland Cavaliers have been considered the underdogs in this series. And let's take a look at their big three led by LeBron James, whose regular season stats are 26.4 points per game, shooting at 54.8 field goal percentage and averaging 8.6 rebounds and 8.7 assists per game. He's almost a triple-double machine. It's only Russell Westbrook, I think, that has better stats than him. And then on the playoffs, LeBron has really stepped it up. He's got 32.5 points per game on 56.6 field goal percentage. So LeBron and Steph Curry have really stepped their level up in the playoffs. And LeBron still uh, averages 8 rebounds and 7 assists per game. And then he's backcourt partner Kyrie Irving is averaging 25.2 points per game in the regular season and shooting at a clip of 47.3 field goal percentage and he averages 3.2 rebounds and 5.8 assists per game which is really funny because uh, it shows you how much LeBron handles the ball because he averages more av uh, assists than Kyrie while in the playoffs Kyrie, his average points per game has dropped a little bit. It's down to 24.5 points per game. And he's shooting at a clip of 46.6 field goal percentage, which is uh, not really a significant drop. It's just a little bit. And he's averaging 2.4 rebounds and 5.6 assists per game. So his stat line is uh, much consistent like the regular season. But the thing about Kyrie is when it comes to the fourth quarter, he is clutch. And last member of the big three for the Cleveland Cavaliers, Kevin Love. The big guy has averaged 19 points per game and shooting 42.7 field goal percentage in the regular season. And he's averaging 
0.1 rebounds and 1.9 assists per game and that's all in the regular season and you can see he's been averaging a double double for the season for the Cleveland Cavaliers and in the playoffs Kevin loves only scoring 7.2 points per game and still averaging double digit rebounds 10.4 rebounds per game and 1.9 assists per game while he's shooting 45.7 percent field goal percentage so Kevin Love's uh, field goal percentage has gone up so he's trying to elevate his game too in the playoffs and the key players for the Cleveland Cavaliers are Tristan Thompson Jerron Williams, uh, Kyle Korver, and J.R. Smith. So who do I pick to win? I pick the Cleveland Cavaliers to pick the uh, to win the NBA championship for 2017. Why? Well, it's because of number one, what I saw when the Warriors played against the Spurs, the first game. They couldn't handle uh, Kawhi Leonard and that's just one guy in the Spurs and the uh, Spurs are a defense oriented team that's the same thing on Cleveland they pride themselves on defense although on the stat sheets it doesn't show and then number two even if everyone is healthy that guy Kyrie Irving he really thrives on playing the Golden State Warriors. He has the Warriors number and even though the Warriors blew them out in their second matchup in the regular season, I think Kyrie Irving will step up in the playoffs and he will be again the Warriors slayer. So that's my pick, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Who do you... I know that the... Uh, Golden State Warriors a lot of people are picking them to win this championship but I'm still sticking to the Cleveland Cavaliers because it's the same thing last year everyone picked the Warriors they were even up 3-1 but still the Cavs made history and they were the first team to win a championship after being down 3-1 in the best of seven series so who's your pick sound off in the comments below and i hope you click like and subscribe so you can win a digital copy of a movie that i mentioned in my video thanks for watching and see you later